Looks like Dr. Wily and his slime buckets are at it again. Right! I'm out of here! Whoa! Where are you going? Not a chance, Fancy Pants. I don't need any girl robots getting in my way. Forget it, Roll. It's too dangerous. Come on, Rush! Into action! Thanks, Eddie! Let's jet out of here! Try these on for size! The perfect fit! Mind if I borrow this? I'm as good or better than you, Proto-Man! Oh no! I'm out of power! Stay tuned! We'll be right back after these messages. It's been quite a while, Lieutenant Zex. I hear you've been pretty busy these days. Rumors about the lightning count have made it all the way down here to Victoria. I think rumors are great. Have you heard any rumors about me? <laughs> I'm honored that you seem to remember so much about me, Lieutenant. My efforts are for my love of outer space. Right. Commence final testing for space mobile suit operations. What are you doing? You shouldn't have problems at this speed. You must sense the movements of your craft. Lieutenant Zex is coming. Don't go embarrass yourselves. Good. Zex, it's been one year and 22 days. Zex considers this place his grave. And it's not because he wishes to die a brave man in a battle. He intends to pay for the sin of purging humanity all by himself. I'm sure Hito's figured that out by now. He should have, anyway. Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! That's right, my friends. My name's Harry Champ, and I'm destined to be king. Hmm. I'm coming for you, kid. So watch yourself, because nobody steals a girl from me. <laughs> <laughs> the Tensega is not a sword used against foes. To put it simply, it is a sword of healing. The Tensega is a sword that defeats the powerful. And the Tensega is a sword that has the ability to save the lives of the weak. If the bearer truly has kindness of heart towards humanity, then the Tensega has the power to save a hundred people in one sweep. I almost called the sword the coffin cheater, but I opted for Tensega instead. It was a little more classy. Actually, it was your father who suggested the name. Too bad this isn't working. It was your father's last wish, after all. A oh, well-roasted pig indeed. Let's dig in, folks. Ah, oh, where'd the roast go? Where am I right now? Who are you people? You! So, you want to sue Santa Claus, eh? No, I never heard of him. Oh, him. The annoying fat man in the red suit. Uh, so what did he bring you? An orange? <laughs> I must say that's the lousiest present I've ever seen. You had a contract? I in writing? Three words. Oh, oh, oh. Ikey, Ikey, the oh, industrious one. Have you heard the news? There's a man cub living with the wolves right in their den. Can you believe it? Why, why, if it were up to me, surely something must be done about it. Mm, hello, Bagheera. Did you hear? The wolf pack has taken a man cub into its den. How about that? D it's against the law. The Baloo, Baloo, I have something to say. D hey, wolves, there are thieves amongst you. They... They have stolen a man cub from Shere Khan. This brings shame to the pack. Yeah. Man set a trap for Shere Khan, but he's too smart. <laughs> oh, too bad for the baby big nose. The vine climber, scampering around trees. What can he do to help you? He's crazy like the bander log. Hey, are you okay? You look like you have a headache. Well, that's good to hear. You were soaked to the bone in that rain, so you may feel a little out of it for a while. But give yourself a full night's rest and you'll be back to normal. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll go and get your coffee now. Huh? You can wear that robe over there, but it's mine, so it may be a little small for you. Do you want cream and sugar? Oh, Alma. Perhaps I should say this is our first encounter in a long time. I would have liked to meet you while you were still alive, my lady. <laughs> oh, heir to the wings, you may sleep in peace for now. Ah, it's you three. Do not worry. 
You three have done plenty. I'm glad I created you. <laughs> By the way, what about that man? Has he been interfering and making trouble for you? At all? At all the red? I see. It isn't surprising that you've had trouble with him. Yes, but I've never met him in person. Not only did he survive, he has obtained the three keys as well. This should prove to be quite entertaining. Yeah, wimpy left foot. His right's okay, I guess. I was gonna say that next. Can't be too careful with this toy taker on the loose. I should have guarded the toys myself. He took every single toy we made. I'm afraid it's going to be a toyless Christmas this year. But by golly, how does one catch such a slippery scoundrel? What did you see, Hank? Great bouncing icebergs! That's how he absconded with our toys! <laughs> oh, it's stuffing all right. We stopped using this kind years ago. Just taking in the scenery, Gloriosa Daisy. It's so... <coughs> relaxing. My oh my, you fell behind on your payments, Gloriosa. I own the land now. Instead of turning it into a spa resort that will line my pockets with more money than this camp ever could? <laughs> I don't think so. Fine. I'll give you till the end of the month. <laughs> oh my, oh me. Fifty years later and the sacred jewel finally resurfaces. I'd almost given up hope. <laughs> We are approaching your new school now. Greetings and salutations. With your kind permission, allow me to introduce myself. I am Glide, Miss Yai's personal net nap. Besides acting as her schedule support and translator, I have a vast range of laser blasts for net battles. Hello. <laughs> I'm honored to meet you. Miss Katsumi, here. This is yours. Your mother feared she might never see you again, that something might happen to her. So she asked me to give this to you, along with a message. How you plan on using this is your decision. She said the path you're destined to take is written in this book. Then I, I want to thank all of you for sticking by me, even after you learned what I did. For all my yapping, you were the ones who were really loyal. And, uh, and I'm sorry for not trusting you, Buzz. Oh, oh, it is no good. After all this time, the curse of Steer lives. And Steer, I am in its power. Nice move, but it will also be your last one. Save the fancy swordplay, Proto Man. You have no chance against me. Yes, yes, all right, my master. Goodbye for now, Proto Man. Now you are free, my brothers. No more cages for you, Mr. Rhinoceros. You pandas, you camels, all of you, free. <laughs> I wonder what I shall do next. Maybe go this way. <laughs> Girls, you're on your own now, so I want you to have a great time out there boy hunting. Send some to me if you have any left over. I'm not too choosy. You down there. You possess a piece of the sacred Shikon jewel. Hand over the jewel! The jewel or your life! Who dares to burst my bubble? Oh! I'm a fox heathen! Found it! A sacred jewel shard! Our time together has been sharp and sweet! Farewell! Always oh, pick on the little guy! For my father! I need to get the shards of the jewel to avenge him! I'm strong enough to take on any enemy. I wanted the jewel as a precaution. I was protecting it for you. You got a problem with that? Let go. I'm doing the talking here. It all started not too long ago. Hundreds of warriors were engaged in a battle near the forest where we lived. But a dark cloud passed overhead. A cloud so dark and evil, 
None could imagine what horrors it would bring. The warriors were at first puzzled by the strange turn in the weather. Oh, it's cooler than liquid nitrogen. Oh, no, no. I'm not a wild woman like Bertha. Me, loosen up? Oh, Lydia, <laughs> this is as loose as I get. The thought of Betty as a bride is kind of scary. What kind of drums are those? Oh, good. If I went that far, I might never come back. <laughs> oh, my, that was fun. Actually, I've always wanted to be a rock star. Here you calling goblins. We are marionette collectors so great we border on invincible. <laughs> Rinzo the core. We are not thieves. We're like collectors and stuff. We have love. We acquired these with great effort and being true to ourselves. That's like the collector spirit and stuff. Yeah, like how would you know and stuff. Finally, you made it. It's been so long, Frank. Frank, I work for them, yes. But it's not like you think. I was forced to do it. It was that, or go to jail. I've tried to make a synthetic. They stole my work. I have been working on a cure. I was so close. I must get out of here and continue my research. No! Take it! The world must know! <sighs> time? I know exactly what time it is. And your timing isn't very good. It's lights out indeed. I've waited 4,000 years for this moment. What do you see? <laughs> Am I really that obvious? I know my plans are clear to you, Oracle, but what, if anything, stands in my way? Ah, I see you've met my friend, but we haven't formally met, have we, Jay? I wasn't sure you'd come back since you ran off so quickly earlier, but uh, I'm glad you did. You see, I heard something about how you and your friends here were going to try and stop me, and, well, <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about that. Sleep well, mortals. Tomorrow will bring the dawn of a new era, and those that live through it will serve me. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> no one's going to live through it. <laughs> no one! <laughs> Otaru, come over here and see this thing of beauty. Right here. The greatest purchase in the life of Genai Shiraga. Go on, my child, say hi. Otaru, what do you think? Otaru's got a thing for marionettes. <laughs> it cost me an arm and a leg, but I wanted the very latest model. I'll have you know it cost an arm and leg even to rent. You see these legs? I heard it said if you use them for a pillar, it's like sleeping on a cloud. Oh. It even comes with an ear cleaning function. Ah, hello. Hello. Open the door, you old skank. Ah, hello. Open the door, you old skank. With good old boys on country back roads, best teachers in the world. Who's gonna teach me? You. Don't you ever get tired of listening to yourself? Ow, Gambit. I hate you. This ain't Cajun country, hun. Zip those lips. Now run along and play while I talk to Gambit. What if I'd been lying about not being able to touch another human being? What if I could, if I wanted to? Come up to the rec room in five minutes and I'll show you. What in the world? Gambit, oh, you're okay. No, I didn't. You snuck a kiss and got what was coming to you. Whom he cannot become without his sword of power. Mm -hmm. I have assured the king that He-Man will arrive to rescue Adam. And I aim to make good on that promise. This may well be the most important mission you will ever undertake. Over here, Gadget. Do you mind telling me what the heck went on out there today? You and that car of yours destroyed over two million dollars in city property. I want to know what's with the Gadget Mobile. Last month, the great Wambini was able to make half the town vanish, all because Gadget Mobile had a flat. One more blunder. One more screw up, and Gadget Mobile is off the force. 
Off the force! Now, go see Professor Gorgonzola over in R&D. He'll fix you up with the loner until Gadget Mobile's back on his wheels. No, wait. Here's your new assignment. <laughs> that new secretary of mine. How many times have I told her? You spell check. This note will self-destruct. It's a military experiment. Iron Man. Isn't he great? Anyway, my dad told me in strictest confidence that the FBI thinks Iron Man is part of a military experiment. Oh, red is my favorite color. I wish to make an announcement to the entire world. As of this day, I, Relina Peacecraft, have taken on the duties as chief representative of the Romafeller Foundation. However, I am not doing this for the sake of the Romafeller Foundation. I think of this as the first step along a very positive road. And upon this road, we can all walk together. We can eliminate wars and create peace. At this time, I ask that you all discard your weapons and stop fighting. Because I am sure that we are all hoping for the same future. So together, let us all advance towards these objectives. <sighs> I am announcing the elimination of all national borders. These borders have been the cause of wars around the world. I declare there is one nation, the world nation. Oh, Rarity, we can't disappoint that sweet little filly. But we wouldn't want to disappoint the mayor. We wouldn't want to disappoint the spa patrons. We wouldn't want to disappoint the school police. It's just... I didn't know that last performance was my last performance. Hey, so she's on her lunch break. Don't take it out on the radio. They found Argor's ship? Supposed to be! It's hot, concentrated salt water to melt out Argor's cruiser. Not in this century! The escape pods are gone. Argor and the other raptors must have gotten away. Give me a few hours to activate his aggression center. He won't be nice when I'm done with him. A 28-year-old girl takes care of her bedridden parents. A fire breaks out and she's the only one who survives? Oh, something's not right. Those local reporters might be too stupid to see it, but I think it's pretty obvious. I can just see it. A desperate daughter at the end of her rope starts a fire. I think I might have a scoop on my hands. And if I can get this story, that idiot regional editor will have to bow down before me. No, forget the regional editor. Even the guys at headquarters will have to kiss my rear end. This is a story that will make the national edition for sure. I'm gonna show those guys at headquarters that they haven't defeated me yet. I'll get to the bottom of this, even before the police do. Yeah, I was rustling up a pair of flannel-mouthed horse thieves during a snowstorm when I fell into a crevasse. Memories all must up after that. Looks like outlaws don't get any prettier out here. These are some darn good shooting irons. Now that fire's a useful piece of information. Now, let's stop this speed and space, Rattler. Once and for all. My, someone's in a bad mood. I've decided to lock down your speech center. Of course, it's not as if someone would come to your rescue anyway, no matter how loud you shouted. Miss Kusanagi, how's my little patient feeling now? Oh my, what a rebellious look in your eyes. That simply won't do. What do you think of the world without red? Kinda pretty, isn't it? Don't get the wrong impression, I don't enjoy doing barbaric things like this. But you left me with no choice. You and your friends went a little too far this time. 